Hey folks, welcome back to Chris White Africa. This is Chris in Central Pennsylvania. Today's topic is the culture of impunity and arrogance. That's what I'm talking about. Something that's been on display in South Africa for a long time. People of a certain ilk can get away with certain behavior and there are no consequences, particularly if they happen to be supporters of the ruling party or the economic freedom fighters. Virtually no consequences for people's abysmal behavior. Similar people charged with crimes and prosecuted for it, even in prison. But here we have what appears to be, now this is admittedly just a clip and we don't know what precipitated this, and we don't know what caused, but what you do know for sure is that one gentleman has a bloody lip and a gash above his eye, clearly been assaulted by somebody. Nobody does that to themselves. That seems implausible. In this case, a gentleman with foul language is verbally assaulting the DA's Hauteng leader, Saleh Msimanga, the former mayor of Shwana or Pretoria, and a current member of the Hauteng Provincial Legislature. He's assaulted. Watch this two minute plus video of what unfolds right here. Came in to beat you, you are a liar and a thief. And this is what happens to liars and thieves, Soli. You are a thief. And you're not going to turn this into a political storm for yourself in my direction. You are a thief. You owe me money and I want it. I owe you money. You owe me money, you fucking thief. I owe you money. You owe me money. You, sorry, Where did you get the money you paid into JD? Okay, yeah. I'm Corrupt I'm motherfucker. Him. I want my money. 0492. What, you think, you think I'm dumb? 0492, yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to get fine. You can't push me and beat me around. You think okay. you, I want to hit you back? Okay. This is what I you get. You. I beat you. Where's the gun? I beat you. Leave me. Did I beat where, you? Where's the gun? Do you see where, me where's the gun? Do you yes. See? Where's the gun? Don't where's the gun? Me. I'll teach you a lesson. No, wait, wait. I'll teach you. you're yeah. the one who's learning. 59, 59. Don't uh, take, you don't take money from me, please son. You don't. Yeah, please, George Albert. You turn it out cool and you try like that. Yes. Sorry? Where's my money? Okay. 1.4 million rand. Okay, thank you. Where's my money? You can give it to me? How far are they now? Ah. Okay, you can give me the reference number. The police are not owned by the DA. They are for us citizens of this country. Oh, now you want to bring politics. The police. Now you want to bring. The police yes, are not for the DA. They are for us one, citizens one, of this six country. One, four zero nine. Thank you, ma'am. So you say you're sending them now. Yeah. Right? So I want okay, to and I want to hit you back. Thank you. This is what you get to find. So I beat you. So, so I beat you. No, no, I beat you. I beat you. You did. So you didn't beat me. All these witnesses. I stopped the gate from, ah, from opening the what gate. What happened when you, you opened the gate? Me. You hit me. Okay. So That's you hit fine. me? That's fine. On camera? That's fine. Now you know sir. what you did. Exactly. You know that on camera. You, right? No, fine. it's on camera. It's fine. It's on camera. It's fine. It's on camera. Yes. I like the fact that it's on camera. It's on camera. Yes. Yannis, in front of witnesses. Yannis got it. It's yeah, you clever, sorry. It's Stop fine. being a fucking thief. So aside from the fact that obviously um, Soli uh, Msimanga has been attacked, it appears, what's really wrong with this? Did you see the way this gentleman is addressing this, uh, this uh, leader of the DA uh, of the Haotang Provincial Party? Seriously, this culture of impunity, as if there are no consequences to boorish, rude, disrespectful behavior. This is South Africa today. You simply have to accuse somebody of something or call them a racist. And it doesn't matter what their skin color is. You call them racist and the label sticks in South Africa. It's disgraceful, it's shameful, and it's the tactics of leftists for decades. They've been trying this all over the world and succeeded in many places. Now, uh, Saleh uh, Msimanga was briefly the mayor of uh, Pretoria, Chwana. When the DA took hold of the province after receiving the majority of the vote in 2016, then forming a coalition, which included, ironically, the economic freedom fighters. Eventually, after two years, the ANC successfully managed to hoodwink enough people, and uh, eventually um, they kept trying to unseat him. But eventually, Msamanga stepped down, and um, he's now a member of the provincial legislature. He stepped down so that he could run for the provincial legislature. He was hoping to run to be premier of Hauteng province, but that didn't work out because the DA didn't quite reach that threshold, and the ANC, just over 50%, held on to the province. But uh, I don't know what happened here. But what disturbs me is this man's behavior, his, his despicable rudeness, his arrogance. If, in fact, Saleh Msimanga owes him money, what does he owe him money for? 1.4 million rand? 
if someone owes you 1.4 million rand legitimately, then you have sufficient information to go to the police and file a case against someone. You don't assault someone. Now, we don't know that the gentleman assaulted him, but it seems pretty clear that the guy, either the one holding the camera or someone with him holding the camera, assaulted Saleh Msamanga. Strange situation. More developing on this story. We'll let you know as it comes out. But this is an outgrowth of the permissiveness, the lack of attention, the piss-poor parenting, and the ANC's not dealing with the country's issues and letting people get away with behavior like this endlessly. They will hunt you down if you use an Arabic slur word because that makes you a felon. Let's see what happens to this gentleman after assaulting the former mayor of Chwana and a current member of the provincial legislature. Or will it be simply like Zimbabwe, where people in, with impunity can attack and murder the Movement for the Democratic Change members with no consequences? But if you were to strike, strike in self-defense a member of the kleptocracy, ZANU, PF, and Parliament, you were imprisoned in hard labor despite being a member of parliament, Roy Bennett. We've not forgotten Roy Bennett. He's a hero of Zimbabwe, along with Morgan Shengvarai, another person beaten with impunity, member of parliament, beaten by security forces, no consequences. Now, I don't know what this gentleman is or who he is or what his affiliation is, but the point is that this culture of impunity and arrogance is one of the cancers eating away at South Africa, and it needs to end. Folks, if you're not a subscriber to the new Chris White Africa, hey, why don't you become a subscriber? Join us right here. Get in early. Just over 500 people at this point. Uh, and we're kind of on the same glide path we're on last year uh, before my channel of 15 years was deleted. So we start all over and we'll see how it goes. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. We appreciate your patronage.